you can see this is our project. We have been working on it. One may think those final projects are the finishing line, but actually, it's only the beginning, not only for these students, but also for their homeland, the beginning of a new era. They say knowledge is power. It was knowledge that changed the world, and it will be knowledge that will make the world an even better place. For the last years, LR and Innovative Agro Industry has been successfully operating in PNG, developing sustainable agro-industrial projects. Now we are planting another seed that will grow strong roots, and eventually, we are sure it will become a beautiful garden of success. Basically, there are two major challenges for our farmers. To produce an adequate quantity and quality of food supply. And number two, get that food supply from the farm to the marketplace. Those are skills that, being from rural farmers, our people don't have. That's why the provincial government and our province has basically partnered with the LR Group. The purpose of this program, in one sentence, it's transfer of knowledge. It's uh, Israeli knowledge, Israeli technology, high-intensive technology, computerized agriculture to a developing country like PNG. That's why LR, with our partners in Enga province, brought these 12 young men and women from Papua New Guinea to Israel, so they can learn that agriculture is not just farming, but a powerful instrument, a life-changing tool. This is a very special and unique program that actually combines, in a way, agricultural development approaches that LR Group experienced over 30 years of activities in the developing countries that combines with the development objectives of uh, Enga province. Developing agriculture and the rural sector into a modern one, into a profitable one, and into one which has a sustainable base. We came here for learn at new skills. In, uh, in Israel. I came here to learn uh, about the milking the milk and I really want to change my country. Under a cow you never look to the side. Agriculture training program for Enga students in Israel is tailor-made in a unique way, matching the exact needs of the region, meeting both theoretical and practical aspects of agricultural development. It's very really difficult to learn everything so much, and we are learning very hard. I am very uh, feel uh, proud of myself because after my uh, lecture class, I do a lot of uh, practical works in the field. So far, I learned how to feed cows and milking. And also, previously, I was working in avocado. We are in rotation. So far, I've learned great things. I like studying in here because I learned more new things here. It's very interesting to stay here and study more. It's a combination of learning and trained through actual work. So they work in the different branches, but at the same time, they are also receiving and meeting professionals in the various agriculture fields, and they are trained in theoretical part. The third element is they are going out in various parts of Israel for experiencing other branches in other climatic zones. And they also are exposed to the culture and to the history and the people of Israel. During the program, students got the opportunity not only to learn the high-tech ways of farming, but also to explore the land of Israel. to visit the holy places, and to become a part of the kibbutz, which has a unique social life based on a strong sense of solidarity, cooperation, and friendship. And those social skills are as important as agricultural knowledge. 
We hope that the skill sets, not only in agriculture, but uh, in engaging with people, uh, the other soft skills, everything that they've learned in Israel, they can take back home and work within their communities, their homes, and with their farmers and at the projects site to improve not just their livelihoods, but the livelihoods of the families and communities. Uh, the kibbutz, they are very, very nice people, and uh, the hospitality which they gave us is it's, it's hard to, hard to uh, express. It's, it's good. Kibbutzim in Ramat Sofet, they treat me. It's just similar like my parents, so I'm feeling at home. Three months of the training program in Israel passed quickly. And here they are, getting their certificates, presenting proudly their final projects, getting ready to get back home. We're doing a very large project in their community, and it's them, this pioneering force, which will disseminate this knowledge to the local population. Uh, when I go back, I will put it into practice by uh, teaching my uh, real people to uh, basically agricultural uh, aspects and uh, grow something. I have some piece of land. I think I will cultivate them to make farm. When I go to Papua New Guinea, I can change a little bit, especially in my communities. Maybe after my communities, changing the province and also we can become later on develop the country like Israel. Why not? These 12 disciples it will bring the knowledge to Enga, to PNG, disseminate it, be extension officers, and with them we will be able to introduce high intensive, high tech I can say, agriculture which is a good quality, consistent and economically sustainable. If we can have impact in one corner of the country or the world, so to speak, and make positive change, uh, we are planting seeds, go back to it, that hopefully can build towards economic and social evolution. So we can talk about grand ideas, grand visions, but if we're not willing to take the first step, the small step, so we're hoping that this initiative, this intervention, this partnership uh, will actually start something big for us. Thank you.